something uh, in the southeast and the deep south could be some heavy snows. Uh, we'll detail that coming up in the next few minutes. Your snow cover map for the entire country looks like this. As of this morning, we have snow at least about an inch on the ground uh, all the way down to northwestern Arkansas. Of course, all through the Rockies, um, the uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains of California, the Cascades of Oregon, Washington, and down the uh, southern Appalachians, the western mountains of North Carolina, some snow on the ground right now. What you're going to see by, let's say, 36 to 48 hours from now, that snow cover could work itself all the way to northern Louisiana, northern parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, to the nation's capital, Maryland, Delaware. Just depends on the track of the storm, but I think you're going to see a lot more white, a lot farther to the south over the next couple of days as the storm develops. Well, here's the scenario. This is a winter storm, southern style. In order to get snow in the deep south, you have to have a low-pressure system pretty far south. So we're going to develop this low in the northern Gulf of Mexico with a strong digging trough back to its west. Surface low will form on the Gulf Coast. And as the surface low intensifies and moves to the northeast, it's going to draw up warm, moist, tropical air from the Gulf of Mexico. Cold air will be coming down from the north, also down the uh, east side of the Appalachians. And uh, this low pressure area, as far as we can determine at this point, our best forecast puts it somewhere around Macon or Atlanta around Sunday morning. And uh, what will happen is the cold air will move down behind it, and some of that rain will probably turn over to snow around Birmingham, Atlanta, Chattanooga, and Rome. Heavier snows further to the north. And by later on Sunday, we're expecting moisture to be flowing in off the Atlantic, the nation's capital up to Philly. Maybe even as far north as New York, you could see quite a bit of snow, but almost for sure Washington, Philadelphia, New York still a question mark. But we're going to watch a track of this low as it moves off uh, to the east or does it move off more to the northeast. That will determine just how much snow could fall in and around the nation's capital and in Philadelphia on Sunday. Now this is the mean annual snowfall. This is not what we're predicting to happen this weekend. Yet some areas could get these amounts you see here. But Atlanta, over to Houston, uh, not Houston, but Dallas, Texas, I should say, generally about one to four inches of snow for the season. Houston, just a few flurries typically. But as you move up to around the nation's capital, one to two feet is quite common. And of course, the southern mountains of West Virginia and parts of Kentucky here get an excess of uh, two feet of snow for the entire season. Now, what we're forecasting through seven o'clock tomorrow night, the heaviest snow to be in parts of Kentucky and Tennessee, where six to 12 inches could fall. After seven o'clock tomorrow night, we could move this heavy snow belt toward the nation's capital in Philadelphia, and some of the lighter snow could sweep through northern Alabama and north Georgia. Uh, it's yet to be determined exactly how much snow could fall in Atlanta or Rome, back over to around Birmingham, but uh, a dusting to maybe an inch in some locations, not out of the question, especially in the higher elevations of North Georgia. You could easily get an inch or so out of this. Here's the current weather map. I'll show you what's going on. Not too much now. Things are pretty quiet for the moment. We have light snows falling over parts of Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas, light snow over Kentucky, and generally light rains along this frontal system from North Georgia back into southeast Texas. Clear and cold all the way from this high pressure area sitting over North Dakota into the northeast where there's severe wind chills. LaGuardia Airport in New York, wind chill 23 below last hour. Wind chill advisories in effect for much of southern New England. And we have another system moving on board in the northwest. Mixture of freezing rain, snow, and rain itself from along the coast all the way inland to around Bellingham and Yakima where it's just pure snow right now, but clear skies as you move into the southwest. Wintry travel could be a problem. It could be some slick roadways. Memphis, Little Rock, Fort Smith, snow, freezing rain, sleet. Not out of the question through tomorrow morning, but it should be on the light side. The snow intensity will increase during the day. There are at least a dozen winter storm watches that I counted in effect from northern Louisiana all the way up into Maryland throughout tomorrow, tomorrow night into Sunday. By later tomorrow afternoon, there could be an ice storm in parts of the Carolinas, especially western North Carolina. We continue the ice in the Carolinas. The snow by Saturday night could back into around Atlanta, but it should be after midnight tomorrow night and approaching sunrise on Sunday where the snow could get into Atlanta. Heavier snows again back up to the nation's capital and to Philadelphia. Saturday morning's weather map, this is what it looks like. You don't see the low pressure area here yet in the Gulf, but by midday you do around New Orleans. And by later in the afternoon, the low pressure area moves slowly to around Pensacola. Snows to the north, freezing rain and ice in the Carolinas, just plain old cold rain around North Georgia. But again, after midnight tomorrow night into early Sunday, this green could turn to white in the form of snow. Cold high pressure sitting over the central part of the country. Heaviest amounts of snow in the Tennessee Valley. Cold temperatures for lows tomorrow morning. 20 to 30 below in the north.